So this is uh, 2020 KCSE number 8 and it says uh, using the grid provided below solve the simultaneous equations. So we have x minus 4y is equal to minus 5 then we have minus 2x plus 2y is equal to 1. Uh, so this linear equations uh, you can rearrange them so that you have y on one side and uh, x and the constant on the other side uh, or you, you can still work with them the way they are. We start by uh, getting the values of the first one. So we have x minus 4y is equal to minus 5. Uh, so given a linear equation, we need to make a table. We need to make a table that is going to help us be able to get the values of x and the values of x and you mean uh, you need a maximum of three points uh, so here we have x and here we have y uh, so to be able to get uh, values here we need to get values whereby we, which are um, uh, that that don't have decimals or fractions so what you do here you try to look for a number that you will be able to get uh, a whole number of x and whole number of y so if you if you take uh, our x to be for example minus one if we take minus one to the other side <coughs> it becomes positive so this will be minus five plus four and that will give you minus four you divide by four uh, you get uh, you will be able to get one so x is when x is minus one, y is one. Then we can take, uh, for example, uh, minus five. Let's try five. Five. When you take it to the other side, uh, it will be positive. So that will give you zero. So when you divide by both sides by minus four, you get as uh, y is zero. Uh, if we take three here. If we take uh, 3 to the other side, it will be minus, so that will give us minus 8. So we take 3, minus 8, you divide by minus 4, and that will give you 2. So that way, you will be able to get uh, complete values. Okay, let's take the other one, which is minus x plus uh, 2y uh, is equal to 1. We use the same trick to be able to get these values. So we make a table. Uh, let's correct that. Uh, so we make a table there and we get uh, three points. So you get that is uh, my, uh, x, that's uh, y. Uh, we can start by my, say minus three. That will give you positive. So you take it to the other side. It will be minus two and uh, you divide so here you have uh, minus three and here you have minus one uh, then uh, why don't we try one when this is one uh, we take it to the other side uh, x is one it will be two so y will also be one then we can try three uh, minus three you take it to the other side becomes four you divide by two so you get two so with that, we now have the points which we can be able to use to draw the, the graph. So we start with the first one. When, uh, okay, so we st let's start here and say that the starting point. So we have, uh, that is, uh, let's say we have one, we have two, uh, we have three, we have four, we have five, we have six. Uh, let that be our x. Uh, we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and here we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4, 5, uh, that should be our y. Then the other side we have minus 1, minus 2, uh, minus 3, we have minus 4, uh, like that. I uh, think that those will be enough. So we start with the first one and we say that uh, here we have now the we can we can plot our points. So we say when x is minus uh, when x is minus one, 
y is 1. So we get our point there. When x is minus 5, you can put minus 5 there, y is 0. So our, let's correct that uh, so that it appears properly. So this is minus 5, so our point when x is, uh, when uh, x is 5, minus 5, y is 0, and when x is 3, y is 2. So we get our, our other point there. So we join the three points to come up with a straight line to come up with. And uh, once you do that, then you need to label your, your, gra your graph. So you say, you can just write it, it is x minus 4, y is equal to minus 5. Uh, then from there, let's go to the other graph. So when x is minus 3, y is minus 1. So we put our point there. When x is 1, y is 1. So this is where our point is. And when x is uh, 3, y is 2. So that's where our point is. So we join the three points and come up with a graph of this uh, equation. So this is a graph of uh, the other equation, which we can label here and say this is minus, okay, this is minus x. Uh, then we have plus 2y. And then we have it is equals to 1. So you can now see the two graphs. Uh, then we are supposed to solve. So you can see the points, uh, both the line cross at each other at that point. So we can say the value of x is equals to, it is 3, where the two graphs cut each other or cross each other, and y is equals to uh, 2. So these are the values that satisfy the both equations. And if you uh, substitute, for example, if you x is 3, so this would be 3, y is 2, so, and uh, 3 minus this is uh, 4 times 2, that is 8, that will give you 5, the, so that's correct, the first one is correct. Then uh, minus uh, 3 plus, this will be 4, uh, minus 3 plus 4, that will give you uh, 1. So these values actually confirms uh, this, uh, that uh, the, the two values satisfy, and that's how you solve that. So the most important thing here is to know that when you are solving simultaneous equations, using the graph, <coughs> then where the two graphs cut, or where the two lines which you get out of the two graphs meet, that is, those are the solutions, the value of x and the value of y. And that's how you do that question.